Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Seth with Soundcheck Tech, and today we're going to be bouncing out tracks out of Pro Tools so that you can use them for your live performances. So, without further ado, Dad, take it away. Okay, we got Pro Tools open, and uh, let's look over to the screen here. <clears throat> so, right now, I opened up a session called She's Holding Her Own, and I saved it's a song that I was mixing that it's one of our songs and I took the final mix session and I saved it for podcast because I'm going to make changes that I wouldn't want to put on the, the original session. So it's got its own session within that folder. So that's how we, uh, that's how we start off. Second thing, um, that I always do, which is really the first thing that I do when I start bouncing these tracks out is I get my click track and my guide track ready to go. You always have to put a little bit of, um, you know, maybe eight beats ahead of when the music starts and with a guide so that um, we all know as, as when we're playing live, we can hear this in our ears and we can know when to start and be in sync with the, uh, with the tracks. So this makes it a lot better when you have it in your ears because the drummers can hear this count off and he can count the rest of the band off and we'll start with the track and we'll be in sync with the track. So I got the click set up here as we look at the screen and if you scroll to the right, you can see, let me uh, back out of here. This whole section right here is the click track and it starts out a few beats ahead of when the music starts and it ends at you know when the music fades and with this highlighted every time i uh, bounce a track out it's going to be the same length and it's going to start at the same time it's very important for it to all be in sync because it'll sound right in your headphones nothing will be out of sync so um Anyway, let's take a listen to it. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I put the guide track in. I recorded a, a guide track and you can hear it and you'll hear the guide track along with the click and then you'll hear the music start. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's that click track and guide is set. So that's that's everything that goes. So I, as you can see, I have my click track highlighted. Now I'm finished with this screen, so I'm going to move over to my mix screen, and I'm going to check out. So what I've done, there's the guide track, there's the click track, there's a shaker, which is a percussion track. Now there's my kick, my drums. So I grouped all of my drums together because they're going to be a um, stereo mix for one bounced set of tracks which is all these all these bounce tracks I, I bounce them out as a stereo mix because they go through the processes and they, the reverbs on them and everything so they sound really good when we put them in the box okay there's the uh, grouped drum tracks that are muted there's my bass and I've got all of the other instruments uh, the musical instruments are all grouped together as what I call the band so I can mute them really fast and then I've got uh, my background vocals right here uh, grouped together because they're going to all be on one track. Um, but, you know, the band's going to have their own, like the bass is going to be out by itself. I just grouped it so that I can mute them all and then I can unmute with a control. You hit the control and, and the mute button and it unmutes that one out of the group. So let's get that one muted back up again. All right, so everything's muted except uh, for the guide track. All righty. So what I'm going to do is now the only thing that's going to go through and be out of this master fader and be uh, bounced out of Pro Tools is going to be that one guide because I got everything else muted. Now I'm going to do that for every single track. Once I finish with this guide, I'm going to unmute the click. I'm going to uh, do the uh, guide. I'm going to mute it and then I'm going to do the click track out. And I'm going to just keep going down the, the line here until I run out of things to... Uh, to bounce out and then I'll have them all in a folder and then I can take that folder and we can put it in the um, <clears throat> sampler which is what that's the thing called the SPD SX Pro made by Roland now the SPD SX Pro is a very powerful tool because there's there's about 20 stereo tracks so to speak they're not they don't call them tracks in the SPD SX they call them um, um, layers so they have kits because it was made for a drummer but every one of those there's pads and those pads and those slots have all of these these two layers that are like tracks so each pad has two tracks two stereo possibilities so we would 
be putting all of those different files in all those different slots and it allows us to mix. You can turn off anything you want if you don't need it. Let's say you're going to play and you wanted um, to, you're going to bring in a uh, fiddle player. You can turn the fiddle off and use the box. So very, very powerful tool. Uh, we're going to do a uh, tutorial on that next. And it'll, I'll go into depth on how to do all that. And it, it really does work. We've been doing it for about five years in our band with consistency. And it, it sounds great. The drummer loves it because it's very easy to use. It's not, it's a lot easier than bringing a computer on stage. That's for sure. So let me go back to this sc screen here now. Um, and I'm going to show you how we bounce out. So we go over to the file button. <clears throat> we hit bounce mix. And I'm going to label this guide because that's the thing I have unmuted right now. Alrighty. And that's going to in interleave means uh, when you go down these things, interleave just means it's a stereo mix. It's like what you're used to hearing on your iPod, you know, and you're when you listen to, you know, Spotify, you listen to, to music on YouTube music, whatever that's stereo interleave mixes. 44.1 is the sample rate, which is red book. It's what I got used to over the years. A lot of people use 48. Okay. Uh, in this situation, it, those are really close. It doesn't matter. And then I'm sending it to this hard drive, Jet Extra, I call it. And uh, so I'm going to bounce that. And it's asking another screen because it's MP3s. And all we got to worry about is the title. And it's already in there. So I'm going to hit OK. And now it's going to start bouncing it. So it's going at 2.2 times the speed. The song is three minutes long. So it's probably going to be about a minute, minute and a half. Um, and it's going to bounce out. So that one's bounced. Let's just say that one's bounced. We don't, I don't really need it. So I'm going to cancel. All right. So I'll cancel it. Now I got that one done. I mute it and I go on to the click track. Now, remember my other screen, just a reminder on the other screen, it's still highlighted on the click track. So that means my, my, uh, the length of the song and the starting point is all going to be accurate for every one of these bounces. So I will go ahead and, uh, do the click track. Mute the click, do the shaker, mute that, um, do the drums, which is a, all of these together, and it's a drum mix. Uh, then you mute those, and you just go on to the bass guitar, and unmute that and do that one. You go on to the acoustic guitars, which I do both sides, left and right, at the same time. Uh, mute that one, and I can go on to the first guitar, second guitar. Now, if you have a solo, I would put that on its own track, too steel guitar, piano, fiddle. Some, sometimes we have a banjo and we might have a, a B3 organ. In this case, we don't have that on this song, but you may have those extra instruments. You just bounce them all separately and uh, make sure that uh, you know nothing else is coming on. You make sure everything's muted, but the, what, whatever instrument you're wanting to bounce out and you're gonna be fine. You will have to check them uh, cause sometimes, you know, we're humans and we're going to leave things on that we shouldn't. I do it all the time cause I'm moving fast. So check your, um, your, your bounce tracks, make sure there's nothing else on there. Like you left unmuted and, uh, and just check to make sure the love, the, it sounds good. Cause sometimes, uh, pro tools as a computer, it, it, it could, it could have something going on there and it could be, you know, digital distortion of some sort. All righty. So that's, that's basically bouncing tracks out of pro tools, how I do it for my live uh, tracks when we use them to play in a live situation.